Israel is a destination on many Christians' bucket list. It is an opportunity to walk where Jesus walked, to feel the presence of Almighty God at the Western Wall. I am Destiny Yarbrough, founder of Destiny Yarbrough Ministries. And I'm Lisa Burkhart Worley of Pearls of Promise Ministries. Many have moved here to the Holy Land to bridge the gap between Jews and Gentiles. Jewish people are educating Christians about the Jewish culture, and Christians are educating Jews about Christianity. It's an amazing dialogue going on right here in the land of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Well, when you come here, God is saying, you've invited me into your house, and I want you to feel what it's like in my house. And when you're in his house, everything suddenly becomes more alive, more connected. It's quite simple. We just are trying to be friends. I think that God gave us the commandment like our kindergarten teachers did. Why can't you just play nice with each other? But more importantly, I found out that real Christians actually love the Jewish people. And what I had been taught as a child was wrong. The first week I, I came here to stay, uh, I knew I would stay long term. And I just said, thank you and please use me. So we've tried to show that it's not, we're not choosing between following Jesus and being Jewish. We're not giving up our Judaism, but actually by being a Jewish follower of Jesus, it's the most Jewish thing that we can do. It's really remarkable to think that what is really the longest hatred could undergo such a revolution with a desire to reach out to both sides of Abraham's family, right? The sons of Isaac and the sons of Ishmael. And that's uh, really echoing God's heart. God wants both of these sides of this family to be restored back to Him. We pray that this will encourage you to bridge the gap between Jews and Christians as well. Shalom. Shalom.